Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing well and great and today's topic will speak about Albania. It's Albania, an Islamic country, yes or no? Do Albanians practice Islam? What was the condition of Muslims during communist time? And what is the condition of Muslims right now? So, one, Albania is a secutive country. Two, Albania had no Muslims whatsoever after 1385 when the Ottoman Empire decides to rule Albania and they ruled Albania for exactly 500 years. During this time, Albanians was forced to practice Islam by war and by paying more taxes. It's common sense. For 500 years, it became part of Albanians. They was literally practicing Islam themselves. And then the, in 1912, Albania becomes an independent country and the Ottomans wasn't ruling anymore Albania. But they were still Muslims, they were still practicing Islam, probably all fine, all good up to 1967. What happens is the communists didn't, didn't come into power during 1967, okay? They came into power in 1946. During this time, they still allowed Albanians to practice any kind of religion that they wanted. And they decided in 1967 to destroy every single church, every single mosque. Albanians was not allowed to practice no Islam, no religion whatsoever, not only Islam. What happened? During communist time, Albanians used to work in field for the government and they will literally send spies. Whoever will pray, whoever will fast, they will tell the government and they will get punished. Now, whoever used to fast during Ramadan, they used to find out like this, they will send a spy in a village. During that time was all was not light how it is now and it was all dark. So whoever will have the light on, they will know that somebody in this house is the entire family or a family member is practicing and they fasting and they woken up to eat suhoor. They will get punished. And the reason they destroyed every single mosque or every single church or whatever is what they told the, to the people, not the information that they gave us in school or in Google is that Albanians became lazy and I asked my grandfather and my father and they were saying that Albanians during that time used to pray and they used to stay in mosque in church and they used to ask God for things right but the communists they said to them that it's not God what gives you but it's work so you have to work hard and to achieve a better life to achieve this to achieve that what happened is Albanians used to work so hard, in the end of the day, they all used to get paid the same and they was proper poor country, proper poor country. During this time, they was working, working, working up to 1990. So from 1990, Albanians was not anymore under the power of communists, but because they started moving outside countries for a better life, or whoever was in a, uh, what do you call it, mountains, it was coming down, there wasn't, cha there was changing places or, or where they are living and stuff like this. So, uh, Albanians was still more attached with work, still, it became part of them, work, work, work. And Islam became more part of the culture. And why did it become more part of the culture? Because they might say 50% of Albanians are Muslims and more. But did they practice their religion? No. They used to fast, which they still fast a lot of them, but I will come to the part what is the condition of Muslims right now later on. What was happening is a lot of churches and a lot of mosques started getting built in different places, in different villages. And Albania right now is actually loaded with mosques. But they're not all full though, but still Alhamdulillah. What happened is, from 1992, different charities started helping Albania and Albanians was going to get food from them, learning about the religion and stuff like this. So a lot of people started coming back. A lot of them started actually practicing and learning more. They wasn't anymore just work, 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 but they understood about Islam, about the religion, about the Albanians' background and all of these things. During this time, from 1990 up to now, 2023, Albanians did have a lot, a lot of changes when it comes to Islam, and I will speak about it right now. Albania, if you grab a Muslim in Albania and you say to him, just a random person in a road, are you a Muslim? Yes. Do you practice? 90% will say no. They do not pray. They do not know the meaning of the Shahada. They do not know the entrance of the mosque. They do not know anything like that. But 
they do fast in Ramadan or during the Laylatul Qadr, that day they might fast. What happens is they do celebrate all the religion celebration, for example, Christmas, etc. Now, do Albanians like to practice? Albanians say one thing, majority. If you are a good person, if you do not do bad to nobody, it's fine, it's okay. God knows what heart I have. God knows how much I do good. I do not need to go in mosque. And they do have a little bit of judging in there, like whoever they will see that they, if, for example, was a thief during communist time or whatever, they say, oh, that thief is going in mosque. I know how that person is. I know how that person has been and stuff like that. But now the condition of Muslims is actually, alhamdulillah, changing. It's changing because a lot of charities opened schools in Albania by helping people, even like helping not, uh, not, not only Muslims, right? Helping people that has nothing to do with Islam as well. They literally became Muslims and they started practicing Islam because Muslims became a suburb for them. For example, I got told from a Muslim sister that her husband was in a jamaat and they were sending food to certain areas that no one has been there before helping them. And this old woman was living alone and she literally had more than 15 years that she didn't have meat. And Muslim sent her a bag of meat and then she said, started crying and she said, I have 15 years and more that I am not eating this kind of food. I haven't seen it, I haven't smelled it or anything like that. And you guys bring it to me. So she became Muslim. She was a Muslim, she was Christian. From 1990, actually Albanians could practice any kind of religion they wanted, but did that happen? No, Albanians moved outside country, a lot of them, and whoever couldn't move outside country, they moved from, for example, from north to the capital city or whatever places they had work and they could, they could afford a better lifestyle for themselves and their families. And Islam became more part of a religion. So what happens is 50% of Albanians and more are actually Muslims. But do they all practice? No. From 1992, a lot of mosques start getting built in Albania and it did have a very good effect on Muslims though. A lot of charities start ha started helping Albanians with food, clothing, because it was complete poverty, uh, school and stuff like this. And it did have effect on Albanians. So some of them started practicing on whoever got connected with the charities and they was learning for Islam and stuff like this. But it wasn't so many people practicing how it's right now. Okay, right now Alhamdulillah is grown and it's completely growing day by day, day by day, Alhamdulillah. What happened is a lot of Albanians will say that they are Muslims, but they do not know the entrance of the mosques. They do not know the meaning of the Shahada. They do not pray five times. They actually celebrate all the religion celebration. Now, me, myself, I do not come from an Islamic practicing family. I do practice Islam. So I will just say a thing that Albanians, I'll just take my family's example, um, but this is the condition overall in Albania. They will say this, that if you are a good person, if you do not do bad, and if you do not judge others, and if you do not, uh, what do you call, do wrong to someone, it's fine. God knows your heart. God knows you are a good person. You do not need to pray. You do not need to get covered. You do not need this and you do not need that. But in the other side, they do have one thing though, that they believe a lot in God. But what happens is they have this judgmental mentality that whoever they see that is going into the mosque, they say, oh, that person, I know that person is like this, this, this and that. And they start saying everything like it is a thief. I know what the person is. Look, only criminals going to the mosque and stuff like this. Or they will see a news and they, based on that news that uh, gets spread from like terrorists and stuff like this, and they will judge everyone. You'll find a lot of people like that. But a lot of Muslims are, alhamdulillah, growing. They are growing and a lot of youngsters like me, they are practicing Islam and we are not getting affected by our parents' generation because most of it, mostly, mostly of them, they are more obsessed when it comes to work, hardworking and not doing bad. And do they judge Muslims by hijab? A lot of them don't, but a lot of them too. But in the end of the day, in Albania, we do have a very, very good communication with each other. And even if we judge, we just keep it inside. It is very rare that you will see uh, an, an, a Muslim woman getting bullied. Thank you very much for listening, you guys. I hope all of you found this content helpful. And inshallah, we'll see you soon again with a different topic in a different video. Till then, please do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below.